Hey guys, this is Alex here, and yeah, I'm Alex, and this is uh, Robotron 2084 uh, for the Atari 5200, as you can see there. Um, this is a game that isn't precisely brand new, but this is like new, and that's because of how um, it has the smell. Like, I could smell it. Yeah, it has, like, a new kind of smell. And um, although the box is kind of ruffled up, there's stuff inside this box, according to the seller, that look to be either unused or hardly <laughs> used at all. And uh, so this is like new. And uh, as you can see, there's an indication there of a, of a, a holder. Um, um, you know, a holder for your uh, Atari 5200 joysticks. Um, uh, kind of like leading the way for uh, future controllers in which there would be two thumbsticks, like in the base, and this would have been kind of like a, a beginning start of that. I've played Robotron 2084, although not with the holder, and uh, it's a good game. Um, Although I think you need the holder. And um and the game is kind of chunky when you when you play it with the graphics and those kinds of things, but um it works well. I'm gonna open this up and um see what is inside. And you can even see that there's an advertisement here by Video Games Magazine. Um and yeah, that's that's part of the promotion. I mean, just the game Joust itself had uh, a lot of uh, promotion for the Atari 5200. And Robotron 24 would certainly be uh, uh, another thing with it. Um, hold on. Okay, so here's uh, the stuff here. And as you can see, this is the holder, sort of. Um, you can see that it's uh, basically kind of like a plastic base that kind of thing. Uh, you would put your joysticks in here. Uh, and I'm looking. It seems to be in a good condition. Um, let's see. Can I tilt it out? Ah, there we go. So this is the controller holder for the Atari 5200 controllers. They made one for the Atari 2600 too. Um... Um, and actually, I would say, actually, when it comes to that Atari 2600 controller holder, it could still be useful for the Atari 7800 version of um, Robotron 2084. But this is the Atari 5200 version. As you can see, it looks to be in really, really good condition. Let me smell it. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, it is practically new. And there's uh, advertisements here for Parker Brother Games, of course. You know, most certainly. That's a Parker Brothers brochure. This is uh, an Atari 5200 kind of a, a brochure. Um with stuff inside with reference to a uh, Atari service. Um, let's see. Free gift. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Atari would like to send you a free brochure packed with video game trivia and insiders playing tips on your new Atari 5200 game. Hmm. Don't really quite understand what the gift is, just from reading that on the first go. Um, um, maybe it's just my head. Maybe my head feels kind of empty. I've had that ever since uh, I've gotten uh, schizophrenia and those kinds of things. Oh my gosh, the smell is really coming out. Uh, really coming out. It could be because like this game was located in another state. 
Um, in particular, I think it was located in Rhode Island. I got it from eBay. Um, and um, let's see. Yeah, here's um, what I've talked about in reviews of mine on Divi Dart. This is uh, uh, kind of like the presentation of the 80s for the Atari 5200 with them trying to illustrate the Atari 5200s being like something like checkers almost, you know, like, like, you know, checkers, checkers, chess, and that kind of thing. And well, that could be a bit misleading because the Atari 5200 has games that are um, not merely uh, checkers or chess or anything like that. And, this is overall the product, along with this uh, controller holder here, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.